Okay, so first video, I uh, kind of did the breakdown of the 2D proportions, like if you were just looking straight on its face, uh, and then knowing that the head is a form, uh, taking those proportions that you see and throwing them and then basically masking them or building them onto a 3D form so you can start to build shadow uh, and, and actually build depth and, and actually uh, volume and mass to, to, to that form. Uh, so now, third video, uh, we're going to take a reference photo. Uh, and like I said, if you're going to be doing caricatures and, and sitting at like a, a, at a venue or something like that and doing caricatures of people, uh, it's very important to be able to just kind of take what you see as a reference and actually kind of throw it into uh, into a form so you can kind of build off it. Uh, so I've been watching, I, I, uh, I got hooked on this show called uh, Zoe's uh, Extraordinary Playlist. Uh, so I got a reference photo of Jane Levy off the uh, off the internet uh, that who uh, she plays uh, she plays Zoe. Uh, so this is her right here. And what I'm going to do is we're going to take her photo uh, and use it as the reference. Uh, and I'm going to uh, I'll probably do two versions of it. Uh, I'll do one that's a little bit more toward like sketching for portraiture, uh, and then we'll do a second one that's more kind of exaggerated uh, with with uh, with the the characters. Okay, uh, so let's take this and we're going to uh, build on a new sketch. Uh, and so starting out, um, uh, the way her head was set up, uh, like I said, we're still going to build that oval shape, right? So we're going to take that oval shape. Uh, because we still need to use that oval shape and then the way that she's looking right there it still looks like she's she's still kind of center line right there and uh, and we'll build those ellipses right there so we can still kind of get where her face is we still build that center but now we know her her nose is a little bit up so we build those uh, build those nostrils out and just kind of start sketching there and just kind of look at the, the, the forms and this one is for portraiture right so we're gonna look at uh, we're gonna look at a, a few uh, a few masses in here let me drag this down so I can kind of have you really see what we're, what I'm looking at as, as we do this so as I'm looking at this, right, so, so you, you want to, uh, it's not going to work. Uh, so as you're looking at this, you want, you want to see, uh, you want to see given shadows and stuff like that, right? So you want to see those shadows in there and you're going to, and you're going to be using those shadows to really build that form, but you're still also going to be working on, on your base of, of the proportions that you've set up, right? So we're still going to use that as form, but we're going to be using also what we see in the picture so we can build that out. And Unless you're doing caricature, you don't really want to exaggerate anything. So you kind of want to get a base of where everything's at using those base proportions, like I said. And this is just quick sketch, like I said. So, so like especially like um, if if you all are viewing this in the Artist Academy. And you're doing, and you're setting this as a basis for your your sketch to uh, sketch to do paintings. Uh, a lot of a lot of the the shading and and the building will come with layering your paints and stuff like that, and and mixing the right color tones. Uh, so as you start building that out more and more, it's going to affect the way that you see like a uh, given contrast and stuff like that. So it will it will make particular changes in it. Uh, so it takes a while to really build out uh, what what you're seeing as, as you as you build out those forms and stuff like that so so just kind of get a, a baseline fill of where everything's at 
but still use uh, still use what you're seeing uh, as as ooh, and I screwed up because <laughs> I'm talking and not paying attention to what I'm doing. So. Probably shouldn't have erased all of it. But we'll just we'll get back to where we're at. So top of that ellipse. Uh, we want to build out that form. Cut back up. And the top of this ellipse is where her lip should be. That's where I screwed up. And I mean, if you want to fix those proportions, you can a little bit. Uh, sometimes it takes a little bit of adjustment. Uh, it's a lot easier in characters because you can exaggerate and you can kind of push stuff around. But if you're trying to build a real sketch and stuff like that, you really want to uh, you really want to use those base proportion and kind of massage it into a good form as you're looking at stuff. I guess that would be the best way to say it. And if I was doing a real exacting uh, portrait of her, I would not... Uh, I would not try to go so fast. I would uh, I would take some time and build it more out. But for the the uh, the purpose of this video, I'm going pretty quick, uh, and that's why it's more geared toward uh, doing caricatures, because uh, because you can flub those proportions a little bit uh, to exaggerate certain things. Uh, but I mean. Like I said, the, in, the intents of this, we can still use uh, the base proportions to still kind of get a rough idea of this because you just move things around, like I said, kind of get it in the sense of where it is. And also, you don't want to, like, she has a few eye wrinkles and everything. I'm not going to take this poor 30-year-old girl and <laughs> make it look like she has tons of eye wrinkles. That's just mean. And we should actually move that up a little bit because she has less area right there. Her, her upper lip portion is a lot closer to her uh, to the underside of her nose than than in normal proportions. And you'll notice that more when we do the caricatures too. But it's,
sorry I'm not talking as much uh, I just want to get some of this down before I start talking too much again and throw myself off again I think it was also because I was moving my photo around kind of lost track of where I was and what I was doing which is dangerous Here we go. It's a little bit off. Oh, it's because I know why. It goes that eyebrow goes up a lot more. And one thing you'll notice, especially when it comes to drawing people, somebody that has a more base look to them, uh, like if they don't have any really distinguishing features about them, they're actually harder to draw. Because <laughs> they don't have anything specifically about them that makes them stand out. So they just have a very... Uh, basic uh, look to them it makes it harder to make them distinguishable uh, unless you take the time to really make an exacting uh, photo of them which it does take a little bit of time to do that if you want to do it right And that, uh, I should point out, that out too. So depending on the medium that you're going to be using when you go to do your caricatures is very important. If, you, uh, if you're trying to uh, be, uh, be one of those individuals that's doing it with markers uh, and doing it very exacting, you have to do a lot more practice before you go out there and just try to go for it uh, because it will be kind of a stretch uh, to where when you make mistakes there's no correcting uh, you have to do cover up kind of like uh, doing tattoo work almost to a certain degree so that part is tough if you don't if you don't give yourself an ability to make any corrections at all nothing wrong with it it makes you better at a at really knowing how to lay down your initial lines but but just for anything that you're like if this is something that you're trying to do make sure you practice on it so you uh, don't put yourself on a spot where you can't get out of because uh, you haven't gotten enough practice into it yet So she has, although a pretty face, she has a very nondescript face. So it's it's a little bit more difficult to uh, to make her distinguishable, but 
it's also good to challenge yourself because you're not going to know who walked up to your booth if you're doing caricature art either so it's very important to just practice on everything uh, if you're wanting to do caricatures so you can get used to uh, trying to trying to bring a uniqueness to to everybody's face Actually, poor Jane Levy here. She's got some brown ones. And hair does take some time. So, so going really quick on hair uh, will. Uh, Kill a lot of the effect unless once again they have very distinguishable hair that and there's a lot in eyes a lot can be said in their eyes so if you really want to to uh, really carry for certain features especially when you're doing the portraiture part you do need to focus on their eyes a little bit more uh, when you're actually putting in that detail if you want to make it uh, close to the original as possible there for the time being I'll call that good uh, just because uh, I do want to kind of give a, a caricature version of her as well uh, so you can take a peek at, at what we did uh, but now let's reset <clears throat> as more of a caricature drawing. Okay, so back to our oval shape. Right? Do our cuts. And you don't have to do those full ellipses because sometimes, like as you might have noticed before, it kind of gave me, because uh, I was talking too much, I kind of lost track. So go back to our, our oval shapes. Now, looking at her head, uh, she does actually have pretty big eyes uh, for, for her face. So you can, in fact, when we're doing the caricature, let's make her eyes a little bit bigger. Give her like those doughy eyes, okay? And she has a very little button nose. So you can give that button nose and it's tiny it's not it's not huge so you can give her a small little tiny nose and she purses her lips so pursed lips not really big but pursed and she's got that smirk So 
a little button. She's got little rosy cheeks. Smile. Little chin. into hair. See, in caricatures it's a little bit easier to to have some fun with the hair. Right? I got a little crazy there, sorry about that. <laughs> And the one thing I say about like eyes really make the difference because this is where you can actually really mess with the facial features to to make sure you know it's female because you can get those little wings and eyelashes to it so it really accentuates certain things and we can knowing that she's got these pencil eyebrows pencil those in as well to where we want to go and she's got her little smirk smile so let me do some shading to that smirk smile some form to her cheeks clean up the nose a little bit finish some eyelashes shall we finish that create some volume here Make sure that she's finishing her smart smile. More shading to that, but because we're going to come right here. Make 
take her here. Give her some more stranded hair. And of course, if we're using color, like we can we we'll always spruce it up to make sure that they know she's a redhead. But let's put that in there. Make sure we're putting that headband. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Say that since it's caricature, you can play around and add some things because this is Jane Levy from Zoe's playlist. So we'll have song coming out. There we go. Big doughy eyes. Little Miss Jane Levy. I guess we could put some shading in here. Give that some form. You could clean some lines up. But there we go. There's round two where it's a little bit uh, more fun, a little more caricatures, uh, and, uh, and you've accentuated something on it. So. Hopefully, uh, that was some fun. Uh, kind of made sense of, of how you can actually take uh, those first two steps and kind of bring it in to either work toward a sketch for portraiture or for actually doing a caricature. Uh, hopefully, it's all well and good. Here, I'll put a little bit more shading. About the, the image of this. Round two. So, as always, uh, don't preach, just teach. Love y'all. Uh, and this concludes uh, the uh, the three video round of, of just kind of how I look at uh, doing portraiture and caricatures. Uh, just kind of taking that, that, that base information that I kind of have stored up here uh, and how I break it down and, and, and do this stuff. Like I said before, uh, when it comes to portraitures, if I'm doing it more seriously, like a, as a, as a full-on commission, I'll take a little bit more time with it, especially um, uh, for those that are actually doing this for painting. Uh, that base sketch is just something so you know where you're actually going to start laying your color masses and everything, because a lot of the the painting portraiture, it takes time to actually build the right color mixes uh, of what you're actually going to be doing when you layer that down on there. Uh, and then even an illustration, like depending on what medium you're going to be using, if you're going to be using color pencil or if you're going to be using uh, pastels or whatever you're going to be using to, to build those those color contrasts and everything, it takes a little bit more time. But characters, you can have more fun with it uh, using those base proportions and then really exaggerating stuff. Uh, you, you can have some fun with it to, to really build out new caricatures and everything. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, if you enjoyed this stuff uh definitely uh definitely uh subscribe fo follow my youtube stuff uh because i will constantly be posting uh more videos uh because i work a, as a computer science teacher uh computer science teacher aide so i i post a lot of uh, computer science videos but i will definitely uh continue to post uh more kind of tutorial or tips and trades illustration videos uh under, under the veil of uh, insanity print and publish so 
to all. I bid adieu. Have a great night.